Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 10 vs 10 on Iron Waters and in this one I'm going to be using the East German 7th Panzer Division. So this is another replay that I wanted to show you guys to show off one of the new maps. Uh, this one of course being Iron Waters and I think it's really cool. It's an awesome map. It has all of this sort of like suburban infrastructure going on and there's just lots of nooks and crannies in this map that are just really cool like these little lakes in the forests and just like the way the towns are spaced out and then the industrial estates and just so much cool stuff you got the area on top of the hill there it's just awesome really really big fan of this map it looks very very nice it has a lot of like a wide array of different tactical situations like town engagements open ground forests You've got, uh, you know, places that you can't traverse, like these lakes and so on. At least not yet, uh, assume, assuming that they're going to add in amphibious units. Uh, but yeah, let's have a quick look at what's going down. So at the start, we're going to be doing the classic recon start with the four Spezials Aufklader with a couple of standard Aufklader and a couple of Aufklader Heavy. I've also got further back two Pioneers with the Flamethrowers I've got the T-72s coming up there, four of them, with two, like that, three Shilkers. Uh, the Shilkers, really, really nice. Very, very good at taking down enemy aircraft, especially when you have more more than one of them. You can almost guarantee if they get into range that they're going to go down. So bringing in plenty of those. I've also got a T-72 uh, GM-1 here uh, that's moving up with this Alphcladder on the right hand side because I noticed that this road here wasn't particularly contested by our team at the start because I said it was a 10v10 at the start it was actually a 9v10 and then one of our team left so it's like 8 plus 1 AI versus 10 <laughs> in this game currently so yeah either way uh, I'm going to be on my left is going to be Eagle Strike I'm going to be here pushing into uh, this industrial estate and uh, through this town and I managed to get my troops up here quite early on and I don't see any enemy forces ahead of me. So I'm actually just going to continue for the time being and try and get a better foothold in the opposing sector at Visky here. I didn't bring in any leader at the start so I end up bringing that in on the first tick. That's going to be going to capture Leonid. Capturing these back sectors is quite important on this map because they're all plus two. All of the ones in the centre are only plus one. So looks going to be coming in at the start here do you get taken out by the rockets from the Avklala and the Specials Avklala and here we go here's all of the enemy troops heading my way so a couple of 2A3s you got the 1A5s there's going to be some Bradleys there with the fire team dragons just basically two players worth of units just rolling down this road towards us which was a little bit of a problem <laughs> so I'm just trying my best to <laughs> take cover currently and I hope that I can maybe deal with all of this these forces heading towards us some mechanized rifles do unload in the open my specials of color are in cover so I'm able to do quite a lot of damage to the mechanized rifles as they come into line of sight Particularly if they get in range of the submachine guns. The submachine guns do actually have a little bit less range than standard rifles and machine guns, so there is that. My after the heavy, gonna get the better of the Roland 2. Nice little catch there on the left hand side. Those PVADs though certainly doing a number on us and the Leopard 1A5 and the Gepard now coming over to engage that. The Pioneer plus the Specials Aufklader able to really tag team a lot of these infantry squads ni quite nicely for us and as the mechanized rifles move across in the open again more Specials Aufklad are getting their shots on target I've also got a T-72 in the town that's going to be helping support my infantry down the road so my fourth T-72 is now moving forwards and I'm going to be bringing in a bunch of Mudschutzen to back us up T-72s moving forwards there are going to bump into mechanized rifle. There is also the Bradley on the left hand side there. Got to be a bit careful. My Alphcada Heavy here used up all of its RPGs. Thankfully Eagle Strike's now coming across with a lot of 80 gems here. 
going to be engaging some of these forces with me as well. Bunch of mechanized rifles in here. Got to get my T-72 out of there if I can. I do just about manage to pull it back in time. But these are now both damaged, but they are going to be helping the engagement down the road. It's really awesome just watching these blast away. You can just see the devastation that's being caused on this road. And this combination between the Special Zalklada and the Pioneer with the flamethrowers worked really, really nicely. But BMP3s here, they've got close range onto these Leopards and they're getting some sweet side shots in there with those missiles. It takes out two Leopard 2A3s and the Leopard there. So really good job by Eagle Strike to get all of those kills in. Whilst I'm still trying to deal with the infantry on this left-hand side. Team's done pretty well in the centre, as you might notice on the minimap. They managed to push up really, really far here so far. And, I mean, even these UAZs have managed to get quite far up with the help of the MI-24s. So looking to take out this mechanised rifle leader that's sitting there in the building. So yeah, overall, team's done pretty well, considering we were pretty much two men down from the start. Since we were nine men down when the game started, we do, in fact, get like a little bit more income. You can see the starting resources are slightly higher here in the bottom right. So we did have that to help us out. And the egg is going to be forced to unload here as the mechanized rifles open up again. And I'm going to try and move forwards uh, my infantry now. I did manage to get one of these Special Zafgada right up next to the mechanized rifles, which really helped out a lot. We we're going to be destroying that building, which is going to leave the mechanized rifles kind of like in cover in the middle, which is unfortunate, but not too bad. Pbad's not able to shoot at us anymore, at least, which is good. We'll allow my units to recover, and I'm going to be able to bring up a couple of munitions trucks here to resupply my infantry. So these actually really important in this sort of engagement where you're engaging infantry at range and you're able to fall back you can get these low health squads back up to full strength again and that's something you should definitely take advantage of i'm also going to be trying to get a pioneer fielder in here to contest this sector tornado ids does come in does get shot down especially how got going to be Brushing these mechanized rifles as they try and do a runner with the AKSU 74s on target. The first squad went down super, super fast. C 72 does take a rocket in the side, takes another one in the front from the Panzergrens there. Fortunately, does go down. Mutschudsen now moving up into that building, hopefully, take out that infantry if they reveal themselves again. So, a few Alfkada on their way. Yeah, I have loads of these Special Alfkada, but these Alfkada are there to kind of spread out on the flanks of my big engagement here. So, there we go. Unload the Alfkada. Spot the Panzergrens. Able to clean them up nicely. There were only one man was left. So, now we're going to be trying to take care of these mechanized rifles, which... I'm going to be engaging the Afghala. I believe I had the leader turned off with its weapons. SU-22, though, going to get shot down there. And you see, I'm just completely overwhelming these mechanized rifles right now. We're just outnumbering them. That's the main reason that we're winning this engagement. I do need to be careful of that Apache. With those Hydra rockets, it does delete my Alpha Color squad there quite quickly. And this thing, even with its 30 mil, can do a, quite a lot of damage very quickly, so you've got to be careful. Enemy artillery does come in. It was actually quite spectacular. The first couple of shots got the kill. Like, just straight up, full health damage onto my uh, infantry leader there and killed it off. Now it's from all of this artillery in the center of the map. 
Also, they wiped out both of my mod Shudsen, and my Shulker ended up going down on the left-hand side, so all of a sudden, everything went a little bit tits up. The Apache does go down, however, as I move the Shulker up to kill that, so that was pretty good. And also got now artillery coming in onto my SBW as well. That's going to be doing a significant amount of damage to my infantry. But I am going to be able to move away the SBW for the time being. To get back into the sector there. And I've got to hope this time that it doesn't get revealed. But yeah, a lot of my infantry just demolished by the artillery. I think it was in the in the last cast that I did, I mentioned how artillery is really effective if you have like large numbers of it because the initial volley is enough to kill like entire infantry squads or entire units. Like this SBW was actually quite lucky to survive. And yeah, so when you have like four or five Akatsaya or something like that, you can really do a lot of damage. In this case, it'd be like M109s most likely because they're on the uh, NATO side. But regardless, you fire five of them all at once and you, you place the fire position correctly, you can make them really do a lot of damage very quickly onto the, your target. And that's one thing that's quite prevalent at the moment actually is the use of a lot of mortars. So there's that as well. We are going to be seeing now more artillery coming in <laughs> onto my position. Marder 183 is going to go down though and basically they're hunting even more for my command. I was not really sure at the time why this player in particular was using all of their artillery on me but <laughs> you know <laughs> It's, it's hard to say, I guess. <laughs> Potentially the name, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Regardless, the infantry engagement, not too bad with my Specials Avkala right now. Going to be able to just continue to move them up and just hope that they don't spot where my command is in the meantime. Got it covered off by the T-72s. It's also giving extra veterancy to the T-72s, so these are now three vet, which means that their accuracy is going to be that significant amount better. Mechanized rifles just absolutely demolished that really, really nicely. And I'm just going to have to keep on the move as the artillery continues to come in. Found another mechanized rifles, delete those. And the reason they're going down so fast, again, is because of the submachine guns and the fact that we are outnumbering them quite significantly. So the, the damage from the Special Zafkar is quite nice there. T-72s going to be hitting the PVADs there. Cupcake moving up those PVADs. And we're also going to be able to take out the M35. Just getting lots of lovely shots in here. Leopard 101s now firing away. Yeah, a lot of enemy forces started coming towards us. That is five Leopard 1A1s. <laughs> and whilst these don't do like loads of damage, they're going to do enough to kill a T-72, that's for sure. If it was like a T-80 here, these would all be doing like one damage to the front armor. But in this case, you know, they're going to be doing like two, three, four damage, depending on how close they are. I do have my supply here still. So I am able to repair both the command and the T-72. My plan is really to try and sneak the T-72 forward so that I can engage these one by one at range. And with the extra veterancy, I should be able to get some decent kills there. I've got more T-70s on the way. T-72s. Three of the T-72 GMs. These are a little bit more tanky. With the 12 front armor. So it will definitely be a good matchup against the Leopard 1A1A1s. And we are already halfway there in terms of points. We've got the plus four on the board again due to the center of the map being pushed in quite significantly by our team at this point and us cont contesting this sector on the left hand side. I really liked the way that this engagement turned out with the sort of infantry and armor pushing through sort of like the industrial area and and also I guess the town here just coming out of that 
It just looks so awesome when you have like these T-72s at close range with the infantry helping support them. I think that's one of the really good strengths of the 7th Panzer Division is their use of the T-72s at close range because they are so potent. They can basically one-shot anything they come up against at close range because they have the 18 penetration whilst not really costing that much and having relatively good armor. Although I say that, the Nebbard 1A1A1s getting shots off very quickly onto my T72 GM here. I'm just trying to completely overwhelm the Leopards right now, but they're kind of getting the better of me, to be honest. The 60 point tanks kind of beating out my 100 point tanks is, is not ideal. Uh, but I am, of course, being flanked a little bit by the Fire Team Dragon squad there. more artillery is now coming in just constantly trying to dodge it throughout the game the t72 going down looking for the last shot there i've right, got some btr 50 pks now pushing across Look at that view. The lighting is so awesome in this game. <laughs> These are just kind of moving up the flank here as Golly Galley comes across with his TACUs moving up to support them. The Gepard 1A1s trying to get into cover there. Like they will succeed in doing so, but one of the PVADs does go down in the meantime. The Elmo Mochuts are just going to be charging forwards as we did take out a lot of the armor already. And I'm going to be getting myself a lot of T-55s in. Yeah, as my armor went down, you know, Golly bringing over his armor really was actually a, a, a great play for me. Because it allowed me to move forwards my infantry and support his tanks with them. Like, these were intended to support my tanks, but most of my tanks got killed, so it was good timing. We do manage to take out the leader there, which is going to completely secure this sector and give us another plus one so that was really good BCR is going to go down to the mechanized rifle dragon 2 yeah just going to be continuing to attack move these units forwards now and we're really pressing deep towards Vasily right now and Eagle Strike's done a great job of pushing up on the left at the same time Up we go. Trying to get them up as far as I can. Apache <laughs> trying to hellfire my BTR. UH hanging about there. I'm currently kind of struggling to work out how these would be useful at the moment. Like the helicopters. I guess they're relatively useful for back capping. So, you know, capturing the sectors back here, like the ones that are more safe, you could use the helicopters for. And then you can, like, move them forwards to capture sectors quickly when you need to. I guess that's, like, one benefit of them. But since they removed the spawn sectors, these helicopters, CVs, are not as useful as they used to be. I've got my shell cut. That's just currently zooming up. I'm trying to get it into line of sight of the Apache so that I can shoot that down. I'm also trying to get these mod shoots in on target with the uh, mechanized rifles here. I do manage to stun them, so I'm able to just continuously shoot them and the mod shoots and also get the kill onto the Roland 2, so that was really good. Managed to capture an enemy hemp. That's now gonna actually completely resupply my two mod shoots and squads here as well, even though they were, they were almost dead. So that was pretty damn good for me. And of course we do have the T-55s zooming up the road on their way to the front.
I do have this T72 back here. Like these were being fixed up by the munition truck. I believe I probably forgot about them because I was busy microing the Mochison up here to kill off the mechanized rifles, which you do manage to pick off two squads of thanks to this hemp, you know, getting us back to full strength there. That was really good. TATU pushing very aggressively. Uh, but most of uh, Golly's tanks here have now been taken out. TAT is actually the last one left. I'm just trying to get these shilkers up into a good position to take down the Apache, but getting them over to the left side there is not very feasible at the moment. F4F going to be coming in with its bombing strike. Absolutely annihilates that tank, but we do shoot it down with the shilkers afterwards, and here comes a tornado. Fires overhead, and as I was saying earlier, when you have more than one Shilka in the same place flying and the AA gets in range or the aircraft gets in range, they go down very quickly. But as you can see, we're still at the plus four and the game is coming to a close. Very, very quick game, but I think a really good opportunity to look at the map as a whole. There's just so much going on here. I love the 10v10s. I think the 10v10s, you know, they could be slower. And I think there is obviously still balance issues in the 10v10s. But the scale of the 10v10s is pretty damn epic. You just can't argue with that. It's it's actually awesome. The T-55 is finally arriving. But not really going to have much of a use in this battle. Seed coming in there, taking out one of my shilkers. Very rude. Uh, but that is it yeah there you go that is iron waters and as i mentioned i had two games on this the other game that i played was actually shorter which is why i decided to show you this guy it's, uh, today but there you go 3668 kills 2045 losses in quite a short amount of time eagle strike on my left getting a very good kd with the 4763 kills to 1725 losses especially with the initial like armor engagement that he had went really really well for him killing a lot of those 2a3s and stuff for me that i bumped into because our initial engagement was quite chaotic uh, but after that I think we traded very well and it made it difficult for our opponents to push back into us and I managed to get the T-72s in a good position to snipe their reinforcements until the Leopard 1A 1A1s arrived but we did manage to kill quite a lot of those we did lose our own T-72s in the process the trades weren't that good I probably could have microed it a bit better but yeah it was a short but sweet game I am kind of hoping that I can have a bit more of a longer game I guess on a 10v10 soon uh, on this map and I'll probably bring that to you guys as well but I just wanted to show off the map in the meantime and uh, that's it so hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one goodbye yeah,